get an appetite for people who perhaps have never thought they were working in an improvement environment to be able to do that more effectively. When we started the pods in the pod in December, we were vaccinating approximately 200 patients a day. Um, and it was a very operationally driven, all hands on deck approach. Um, we very quickly realised that we needed to dovetail operational delivery with some Im improvements in delivery to improve our flow if we were at all going to be able to meet the demand that we had um, outside the door, or literally of the hospital queuing for vaccines. So we rapidly dovetailed our, our improvement team with our operational team. They were kind of both doing bits of both. And we managed to increase our throughput significantly by the time we hit January. Um, by the end of January, we had five pods up and running and we were seeing uh, well over a thousand patients a day for their COVID vaccine. So rapid improvements in terms of flow and uh, taking out the waste in the system. Equally, we managed to start to bring in our improvement training as of February time. So our in-house improvement team started to bring in uh, the three levels of improvement training that we have so that we can have all of our team on the ground doing rapid PDSA cycles to improve the flow. So initially in the early days of the vaccine uh, service, it was quite a chaotic uh, scenario. Everybody was doing it for the first time. The tension uh, in the in the pods was was really high because we had lots of lots and lots of public you know very very concerned um with heightened anxiety really needing their vaccine as soon as possible and um therefore the operational teams were extremely busy so the the appetite and the ability to undertake an improvement mindset in the early days was quite difficult so we did we start with the improvement team we, we wanted to do that very very early on um but actually what happened in the end was that the improvement team just joined the ops team came and did many many operational shifts really learned what the business was before we could start improving it um so there was there was tension between sort of how you bring in an improvement mindset when you're in such a fast-paced environment and your operational team are pretty drained literally just delivering the service which i I think is a is a is a common problem um, in many industries, but in the NHS in particular. But gradually, as we began to settle and um, as we began to, in effect, embed a sort of standardisation mindset without calling it today, we're going to do your improvement work, or today we're going to we're going to come to Gemba, or using any of that phraseology, just really working through um, some techniques and skills with the operational team. From things like I remember one day just putting up a poster that was a you know a tally in effect, starting to get raw data about how quickly were we vaccinating. We had people observing very discreetly, you know, what are all the different handoffs happening? Where could we potentially take out waste? And then, as things began to be, get a little bit more settled, we were then able to be a bit more overt about how we how we uh, joined up the improvement with the operational delivery and begin to um, get an appetite for people who perhaps had never. Uh, thought they were working in an improvement environment to be able to do that um, more effectively. From early on again, we, we were having um, safety huddles every morning. So uh, as you would see on any normal ward, um, you would have a, a safety huddle, what's changed, what do we need to be aware of today. But we very quickly incorporated some of the sort of more improvement huddle type mentality where, you know, what are the key things that you need to be looking for today? What are the key messages? And what's your data telling you about the flow through the pod yesterday and today? Still a challenge. We've still got work to do on that. And I think it's still... Um, the data underpinning those huddles is still quite difficult to, to extract it in a timely way, particularly as for all of these vaccines, they're recorded on a national system. So getting that data is quite tricky on a, on a, in a daily format. But we've also instigated um, bi-weekly specific improvement huddles. So we'll pull from those daily, you know, what's gone well, what's not gone well, and then we'll use them as, um, uh, you know, rapid sort of projects really for every, for every couple of weeks for people in the pod to be able to use their improvement skills. <laughs>